Welcome back Digi fans, welcome to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to make you a movie star. Action! Did you like that? I did. I thought it was great. I'm going to make you a movie star because I'm going to teach you how to make your own movie poster, your own film poster. This can be about a film that you've seen. It might be a film that you've got in your head. It might be a film that you're going to star in. Any film you like, but I'm going to teach you how to make it using Adobe Spark Post. Now, as always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Adobe Spark apps individually, Adobe Spark page, post and video. And if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, so let's make you a movie star. Now I'm gonna search for movie, I've already got it in there. And look at all of these templates that you can use. This is the one I'm looking for. So I'm gonna click there and edit this template. It comes up in here. And all you have to do is start editing the text. Okay, this one's gonna be called Dr. Tom and the Bears Defeat. Now I'm gonna bring it, bring the size of it down slightly. Now you can see that uh, when I move it around, you can see that little pink line that came up in the middle there. And that's how you center it. I've got that, I like it. If you wanna change the color of that title, you can, you can just select color there. And uh, there's also a style wheel that you can go to as well and sort of, move it around until you find something that you really like. Actually, I really like the original one, so I'm gonna stick with it. So I'm gonna go here to the top where it says Incredible Journey. What I want you to write is a little kind of sentence introduction to what your story is about, but don't give too much away. So, uh, an amazing tale of good and evil, strong character and will, okay. Now, I think I might stretch that out, but let me show you another way to do it. Down here, you've got letter spacing. Now, if you increase the letter spacing, and that roughly matches the text of the title. Now, obviously this image in the back has nothing to do with the kind of film that I've got in my head. So I can press replace there. Now you can uh, upload your own photo, of course, but I'm gonna find uh, free photos. I'm gonna put there, okay. Whoa, look at that one, really cool. Now what I'll do here is I'll increase the scale on it so you can see his eyes and his nose and his mouth. And then this kind of uh, little quote here. So I'm gonna double click that, okay? And I'm gonna put my own little quote in. Uh, Such a tragedy, you will be transfixed uh, until the very last moment. And then I'll start a new line and I'll put a funny squiggle there, Digidom. That's kind of pretending that I'm a film critic or a film director. Uh, now, one of the things you can do with this text as well, in order to make it a little bit more special, is press the shape tool there. And you can select any one of these down here. And I think you can try them out just by clicking them. Oh, maybe, maybe that one. Yeah, that looks cool. It's like the arrows is great. And I'll put it right in the middle of the bear's mouth. And then maybe I'll select it and uh, get it. Yeah, I'll do it like that. A little bit sort of shorter and fatter. That would be good. Okay, nice. I like how that's looking so far. And then down the bottom here, they've got lots of, lots of text in this one. I don't know what. There's all sorts of people that you can credit, for example. Maybe the actors that are in your imaginary film. Um, what am I going to put in here? I'll put out in cinemas in July 2020. Cool. Now I can grab one of the corners here, make it a bit bigger. That's nice. I like that. So in this piece of text here, we've got Lato Bold. That's the font. And then here we've got Belfort Thin. Okay. So maybe what I might do is make sure that all of the white text is the same font. Uh, so that one's Lato Bold as well. And so is that one. So that's good news. They're all the same font which I think is pretty important in order to get it looking really stylish. Now, the last thing I'll show you is if you click here, you can go to filters, uh, grayscale it. Ooh, the grayscale is cool. What I'm, and so is the multiply. They're all pretty cool, to be honest. Maybe I'll go for, maybe I'll go for grayscale. That or the darken. Maybe I'll leave it on the darken, but you have a little play around, see what you think takes your fancy. 
great stuff. Now, as always, you can download it, start the download, and it will come down here on your machine. You can also click share, and then you can publish it, which means you can click link there, and you get a really cool link which you can share with your family and friends. And there it is. And send that out to whoever you like. I hope you enjoyed that, Digifans. I know I, I know, I know I did. What is that? I've literally no idea. Anyway, um, yeah, as always, share your work with me using the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can share your work with a larger audience and make you a movie star. Uh, also, if you want to get these videos before anybody else, then you're going to need to subscribe. So subscribe and then you'll get them before anybody else. That's it from me, movie stars, Digi fans. And where am I going to see you? In the next Digidon video. Bye for now. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.